Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I wanted to do a reaction to the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal. So I'm really excited for this and I want to see what this is going to look like. Now I'm guessing that this is going to have helicopters in it, it's going to have boats and tanks. Because if you look on the PlayStation Store when you have the pre-ordered limited edition, um, the limited edition version, you have skins for helicopter, for boats and tanks. So we'll see what this is like. I'm the most excited for the large scale battles. So let's see what this um, let's see what this game is like. And I'm really excited and happy that they went back to the Cold War setting, the original Black Ops setting. No more futuristic stuff. Really excited for this game. So let's watch this. Well, there's already a lot of vehicles. Captured on the PlayStation 5. You're here because you're the best special forces NATO has to offer. You're all that keeps the world from turning. Oh, that's a bust of Vladimir Lenin. We work off so, the books. Operate in the shadows. To keep the wolves at bay. Today, so this we reshape the world. They're showing both factions. What can we do in Miami? Miami. 1980s feel of Miami. You get that Scarface feel. Let them come. Or Miami Vice. North Atlantic? Oh, they got jet skis and helicopters. An attack boat. <laughs> oh. Well, they're done there. You can zip line from ship to ship. Oh, and they let you swim. That's nice. You don't die when you go right in the water. Oh, Angola. This is in Africa. In the 1980s, there was a communist revolution in Angola. Fighter jets? Oh. Looks like the jets are kill streaks. Uzbekistan. This is in Central Asia. This was part of the Soviet Union at um, during the Cold War. I'll drive. Oh, there's the tanks. That's what I'm the most excited for. Ural Mountains. That's also in the Soviet Union. And they got so many vehicles in this game, this is awesome. Oh, there it is, there's the hind. <laughs> That's awesome. November 13th. Pre-order digital copy and get early access to the open beta and instant access. I'll definitely stream that beta. What is this here? Oh, zombies, I saw the little monkey. Huh. Well, I guess that's that for the, um, uh, for the reveal there. Um, I'm, you know, me personally, I'm not much of a zombies guy. Like, I don't mind it, I'll play it also. I'm more excited for the, um, campaign and the co a co if they have any co-op missions and also the large-scale multiplayer. I'm not really a fan of the, um, close quarters, the, um, uh, the close quarters small maps. I'm more of a fan of the larger maps, so I'm really excited to see, uh, the, the large-scale combat. And is this gonna be 64-player combat? I guess we'll have to see, um, uh, yeah, and it looks like it, it looks like this is gonna have a similar like um, it's going to have like a similar layout to Modern Warfare in which you have the um, the operators from one side. So this looks like the NATO operators here, and then on the other side you have the um, uh, you have I wouldn't say the Soviet operators because there's so many there were so many communist countries during the Cold War. So it's probably going to be um like um it's probably gonna be a bunch of operators from different communist countries. Um, 
and they had Miami, so they might have um uh they I, I think in the I think in the leaked gameplay they had DGI, which DGI is like the Cuban Secret Service, so they might have them in this. So I'm curious on this. Um, uh, curious how this is gonna work. But let's let's go for the um. Now this place, the North Atlantic. Um, now there is so many vehicles in this game now, this is much more than Modern Warfare. And what I appreciate about this game the most so far is that the helicopters are, you can actually use them to attack. Because the helicopters in Modern Warfare, they're kind of crappy. I mean, they were good for transportation. If you needed to get from one side of the map to the other, the helicopter was definitely good. But the helicopters were just terrible for attacking. You would get shot at them so quickly. And even if you had people on the side shooting, you couldn't really do much with the helicopters here. You know, we have the Hueys now, and we have the Heinz. Um, we also have, we're also on the ocean now. So, you know, we have, um, uh, we have jet skis here. Um, uh, we have jet skis and we have the attack boat, which the attack boat is going to be, um, is definitely going to be interesting to use. Um, the, the, uh, the thing that's going to be a little bit of concern is that these vehicles, like the Huey and the attack boat here, you're going to need a lot of teammates to operate these, like to work together. And a lot of people in Call of Duty, they don't like to necessarily work together, they just like to just run off on their own. But I can already see it. I can see a ton of people complaining about this, saying, oh, there's too many vehicles, or, or they're going to be complaining, oh, it's, it's not fast paced enough, it's too, it's too slow low pace, it's too much like Battlefield. I like this. I like this new um, this new layout. I like the open, big open maps. Um, I like the all the vehicle warfare. I think it's cool. I think it's cool and I think it's interesting and I hope that Call of Duty stays on this route. For the people that, that want the more fast paced action, they still have that. They still have the close quarter maps, but now here they have uh, much larger maps too. Um, and also another thing that I like here in this section, this section, I like this a lot. I like that you can actually swim and you can dive. I like that because there's just too many games where the second you jump in the water, you die. So I like that, that you can also swim. That's definitely nice. Um, and here we have gameplay of Angola. We had these, um, these little dune cars here. Um, and like I said, Angola, this was, um, this is a country in Africa. And then, um, during the 1980s, um, uh, during the 1980s, there was a communist revolution in, in Angola. They also had Angola in Black Ops 2. Um, and then we had, we had Uzbekistan, and Uzbekistan, this is, this is a country in Central Asia today. This was part of the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Um, and then we had the Ural Mountains, which the, the Ural Mountains, that's, that's also in, um, in the Soviet Union. That's part of Russia today, well, for the most part, part of Russia. The Ural Mountains are in a few countries. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of vehicles. We got tanks, snowmobiles. Um, I'm excited for this. Another, one thing I'm also curious about is the, you know, the the characters. You know, how is this gonna character customization? How would that work? Because I also, you know, I like to make my character look cool. So um, I'm excited for this game. We'll see what this game is like. Um, uh, and lastly, here we got the hind, which this should be, um, this should definitely be interesting. But here's the question: How many people are able to get into the hind? Because, you know, you would have one pilot, a co-pilot, and then the hind was able to transport a lot of troops, so you had troop, troops in the back. So I guess we'll see, um, and I'm excited for this game, and I'll definitely play the open beta. As for the zombies, again, I'm excited for it, but I'm um, not much of a zombie guy. I'm much more looking forward to the story, the campaign, and the, um, uh, and the multiplayer. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, enjoy my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.